Yeah, it's easy to forget with all the shenanigans going on with teammate battles, uh, the, the actual start of the race, which was pretty fascinating. And uh, Mark Webber got a great getaway uh, this time, much better than he did in, in the last race. And a fantastic start there, putting him into second place. This is what it looked like from on board at Fernando Alonso. On the rear there, tries desperately to go around the outside of Sebastian Vettel at this point, gets oversteer now and can't slow the car down and breaks a bit too late, locks up the front, and here we go virtual to see just how close and the, the contact between the two cars. As we come back out of that, you'll see he's, he's still struggling for traction, bits fall off of his front wing, and here comes Mark Webber around the outside. And now, I'm just gonna pause it there because the thing to look at is the left front on the wing here. Keep an eye on that. So I just forward that on, and there's the brake coming now. And then the sparks happen, and he would have failed to turn one. But this is what was going on on the pit wall. We've got the split screen there. So on, on the pits channel, you would have been able to see this going on. They had the nose ready. The team could see, but Alonso blinded from inside the cockpit. This is how it unfolded, and, the, and Button was warned. Okay, Jensen, Alonso has a broken front wing. Wary of Alonso. So even other teams out there knew that the damage was pretty severe on that Ferrari. And as he came past the pits once more, the team knew that it was game over and that that wing was definitely going to fail. And the disappointment shows in all of the team and on the pit wall as well as they, as they just realised the mistake that they've all just made. Engineers putting their head in their hands at that stage as well. Um, here we go on to Massa for the start. And 